Hey guys, so today we're going to go over how to extract XNB files to be able to mod Stardew Valley. It's a pretty simple process, but there's a few steps to it. So the first thing we're going to want to do is download XNB node. I will include a link in the description of the video to be able to download XNB node, but if the link were to expire, a quick something search will help you find it. The next thing we're going to want to do is extract XNB node. And once we've done that, we're going to have a folder called XNB node that's going to have this little file in it, XNB node.cmd. This is actually what we're going to be using to extract all those files and make them into a more workable format, like PNGs and YAMLs. So what we will do is go ahead and find the, fo the folder that's going to have all those XNB files in it, which is going to be in our Stardew Valley folder which will be in Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and then Stardew Valley. And then at this point, what you can do is you can copy the contents of the XNB um, node into the Stardew Valley folder, or what we're going to do is we're actually going to copy over the content and put it in the XNB node folder. The reason for that is, is that whenever I repack all these things, just in case I mess anything up, I'm not messing anything up directly in my game files, I can keep a backup of it here. Now that we've moved our content over, we're going to want to go ahead and extract all these files. To do that, we'll open up our command prompt, and we're going to want to point the command prompt to this folder that we're working with. So we're going to want to change this path. So we will do cd space and then the path. So c for me, it's users Megan downloads an xnb node. So now that it's pointing to this folder here, what we're going to do is to extract the files, we'll do xnb underscore node.cmd. That's this little file here. And extract. And then we're going to want to put in the name of the folder we're extracting from. In this case, it's content. And the name of the folder we're extracting to. You don't have to worry about whether or not you actually have this folder, because if there's no folder by the name of what you want to extract it to, it'll just create one. So we'll just call it work. And so now you'll see that it's extracting all these XNB files. And as it extracts them, it's actually extracting them into two separate files, YAML, which is the behavior, and PNG, which is the look. So those PNG files will be able to edit to actually change the look of animals, characters, things like that. Once you've edited the files that you want to edit, you can go ahead and pack those XNB files back up by doing a command very similar to the one that we did earlier. So back in command prompt, we will do XNB underscore node.cmd. And instead of extract, we will do pack. And we're gonna pack that work folder that we've been working with. And we have two choices at this point. We can pack it back into content or we can pack it in a whole new folder. I'm just going to pack it back into content since I have a backup of everything anyway, so I'm not too worried about it. So we will do pack work content. And now it will take all those files, pack them back into X and Bs, and then we'll be able to put them into our Stardew Valley folder. Once everything is packed back up, you can now take the files that you've edited back in the content folder here and move them into your Stardew Valley folder. What I would recommend you do is before you actually replace anything, maybe just take some of your old XNBs and either rename them or possibly copy them over to your desktop or just create some sort of backup of them just in case anything went wrong in the editing process. That way you can always revert back to the old files and give it another try. And once you've moved the files over that you've edited and you want to keep, then Go ahead and boot up Stardew Valley and see how it looks. For me personally, I went ahead and went into my menu screen to change the way my dog head looked and my horse head looked to match the way that they look in game. Hopefully this video gave you a clear idea of how to start modifying your Stardew Valley to make it a more unique experience for you. I will see y'all next week. As always, happy gaming and happy modding. Mm -hmm.